Good morning, Dwayne here, Phoenix Typewriter, JC Business Machine. We're going to show you how to fix a paper release on a Smith Corona manual typewriter. This one right here, in fact. Just up a little higher so you can see what we're working on. And what we have here is a very common Smith Corona manual, and the electric machines had the same arm. We're going to try to fix this carriage release arm right here. Not this side, the other side. And that's what releases the carriage. These are handy little levers. Pull it forward and it, you can move the carriage. This one over here is broken. So that's what we're going to attempt to fix here today. What I've done in the past is Sometimes I can just glue, the, well, we had the old one, we found it in the case, which is good. I do have some replacements, but if you can use the old part, it's just as well, because these are hard to find. So this one is broken like most right here in the front. It's also kind of shattered here in the back. I don't know if that's been re-glued. It might not have been. It might just be the fracture from this. So sometimes we, you can just glue it back on here stick it on there and, and glue it but uh it's got a lot of stress and it has a tendency to re-break like that so we're going to do something a little more aggressive with this and it's not going to hurt it at all so first thing we're going to do is well we're going to melt it onto the shaft we're going to heat the shaft up we're going to stick this on it and melt it down into there and try to get into some fresh uh, plastic in here for a better grip. So first thing I'm going to do is actually cut some of this off so it can it can sit down in there further. So it'll sit down further. So let's just do that real quick. I'm going to cut a, a portion of this off here with the uh, Dremel tool. Give me a second. Cut off a portion of this. That I'm gonna try to trim. Okay, so now it's a little shorter, but that's okay. Let's see what we're gonna do here. And this side, you can take this this plate off. It pivots back if you prop this up. Pull this back panel up. You can actually manipulate this off the shaft there like that. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to, um, I wasn't going to remove the platen, but I might just pop this out, just because it's easy. Oops. Alright, let's just take that out. But what we're going to do here is put this plate right there when we heat this up with the torch so it doesn't heat anything else up we don't want. So what we're going to need is a regular propane torch, regular, any kind of torch you want. This one's got a pretty nice fine tip, something to cool it down after it gets hot, and a ignition source. This is it. We're going to, I'm going to do this real quick. Okay, so let's just prop this in here. have to hold that. Let me go. Put some tape on this or something. I have to hold this here. Okay, it looks like it's gonna stay. Okay, so I'm gonna heat this up and we're just gonna sink this guy right on here. Oh, I need to Port the bottom of this a little bit because I'm going to push down on that really hard. So, okay. And we're ready. So, we're going to be pushing down. Heat that up. And we're just going to sink this down in there as far as it'll go. 
I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do a little, I'm going to cut this into a, I'm going to make this a little bit of a sharper tip. Probably don't need to do that, but I just made that a fine tip so it, may, it will hopefully uh, go in there a little smoother and deeper. Probably not that necessary, but okay, now we're ready to heat this up. That's it, we're just gonna do this real quick. Let's see if I can get a camera and get a little closer. That's got to be pretty hot. Oh. Yeah. Heat it up a little more. I think I missed my opportunity. It's red hot. Push it down. Down. Just keep pushing for about. Get your water. And cool this piece off. Now well, let's see what happens here. Okay. Well, let's try to strength test. I mean, it should be cool enough. Let's see if it works. All right, that's it. That's gonna work. Let's put the cover back. Oh, let's put the roller back in. Real quick. And we'll put the cover back on. Take a look, see how this thing final product <laughs> looks. Oops. Okay. okay, so that's the finished product. <clears throat> That's it, no glue, just heat. That's just a little, now the only difference is, you know, it's a little shorter than the other side. <clears throat> but, you know, I bet you and most people won't ever notice a difference. You just grab it the same way, perfect. Okay, that's how you repair a paper release arm on a Smith Krona. Typewriter. We are phoenixtypewriter.com.